All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 7. Now, in the last episode of Game of Thrones, basically, we had Tyrion's trial, right? And dude, Tyrion went off on everyone in the end. He's like, you know what? Fuck everyone here. I fucking hate all of you. I should have let all of you die in the Blackwater battle. Fuck all of you. Because, dude, like, honestly, dude, everyone turned on him. Everyone, <laughs> nobody vouched for him. Not even Shay did it. And, okay, I kind of get Shay. I kind like, she's really upset with him. Because he was, like, you know, he kind of, he told her very aggressively, like, you need to get out of here. Well, he kind of said, like, well, I can't be married to, like, a whore. You know, like, you're not fit to carry my children, and Sansa is. But he tried telling her nicely, and she wouldn't leave. And so he kind of had to be very aggressive with her so, she'd leave, so she would leave for her own safety. But then she comes back and testifies against him. So that fucking sucks. So, and then at the end, he was like, you know what? You know what? Fuck all this. I want a trial by combat, okay? trial by combat now i was now i'm curious to see who's gonna fight for him i'm assuming brawn because that's the only person i can think of like it can't be jamie anymore because jamie lost his fucking hand <laughs> jamie can't fight <sighs> so i i guess it has to be brawn and i i'm guessing brawn's gonna fight sir Marin because sir Marin's a knight's guard and like he's like the knight's guard i i guess <sighs> I got Braun. I got Braun. I swear to God, dude, Braun dies. I swear to fucking God. But before Tyrion said, I want a trial by combat, Jamie talked to Tywin and he was like, Look, let Tyrion live and I will retire. I will step down from the Knights. Well, I will step down from the Knights Guard. I will carry on the family name. And then T Tywin was just like, Done. Immediately done. You know, didn't even think about it. And then Tywin was like, Done immediately he's sending Tyrion to the night's watch and jamie will continue the family name he, it kind of seems like tywin already had that like premeditated because like he didn't even think about it he just said it immediately maybe he came up with it that fast i don't know wouldn't be shocked but i'm gonna say he already had that in his head he was already going to do that so <sighs> but now he has a trial by combat so i mean like if he's gonna get sent in the night's watch regardless what's the point of having this trial by combat there's no point if Tywin knows he's gonna send like like if Bronn wins and he's and he still sends Tyrion to the Night's Watch well then what was the point you just lost the Kingsguard for no reason then you know you could just be like no we're not doing this you're just going to the Night's Watch I don't know yeah but then and if he loses then he's still probably going to the Night's Watch anyway so it, there's no point so if Tywin's gonna send him to the uh, Night's Watch regardless then there's no point to have this trial by combat but we'll see. We'll just see. I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this episode of Game of Thrones. If you want to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes will also be on Patreon. So let's get started. What am I grateful for? The opportunity to live and die at the wall as punishment for a crime I did not commit. You threw your life away. Okay. You threw it away. So now, yeah, they're talking about it. So the trial, so the trial by con combat takes away the Night's Watch opportunity. Okay, and he didn't want to do it anyway. Yes, I fell in love with a whore, and I was stupid enough to think that she had fallen in love with me. She did. He just fucking pushed her too far. Lord of the Rock, and he ships me off to Castle Black, out of sight at last. All so perfect. Yeah. That's what Taiwan wanted. You can kill a king, lose a hand, fuck your own sister, you'll always be the <laughs> Careful. I'm the last friend you didn't realize you'd die for pride. Don't give up on me, Jess. Yeah. I survived one trial by combat, even though you weren't there to save me. I can't save you this time either. Yeah, <laughs> can't. Even if you lose, imagine the look on father's face when you fall. <laughs> Our okay, family so names. So he, oh, so he still wants Jamie to do it anyway. Just tempting. <laughs> yeah. In spite of Tywin. Because, like, if Jamie does it, no way he's actually going to die if he just gets disarmed and then, like, he loses. You know? He could lose without dying. So. Ron fought for me once. He'll do it again. 
Okay, Braun. If he wins, I expect I'll be in his debt for the rest of my life. Oh, fuck yeah, you will. That's two times. Look, dude, I know Braun's going 2-0, oh, okay? I know. I hope it's Samarin Trant. I'd enjoy watching Braun disembowel that pompous child beater. Yes, me too. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Just waxing everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the capital. Sir Gregor. Who am I fighting? Does it matter? <laughs> the brawn. Fuck. Okay, okay, guys, you wanna know a fun fact? Wanna know a little fun fact? That's the mountain, right? I'm pretty sure that is the mountain. Okay, we find I okay. Every time they've mentioned the mountain, okay. Here's the thing. I know... Okay, I know who that actor is. That's Thor Bjornsson. I'm not pronouncing his last name right. But, dude, he I watch him on YouTube, right? And I knew he was in Game of Thrones and he played the mountain, okay? And so this entire time, whenever they mentioned the mountain, I was waiting to see him. And we finally did. So, that's how I know that's the mountain. Not by his name, but by the actor that I know, I know plays him. You were a father? A captor. Bringing her to her aunt for ransom. Oh, okay, he's, he's honest about it. Dying is thirsty work. <laughs> Wish you were wine. So do I. Yep. Ah. Yeah, it's faster death. That's how you kill a man. Oh, whoa, whoa, my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, <laughs> waxed. Okay, that low, that low key scared the shit out of me. There's a price on your head. Yes, that's what the yeah, king does is. when you tell him to fuck off. Yeah. Rouge. Thank you. Yep. In the heart. Just like she just learned. The Arya's turning into a savage. This is no place for wild beasts. Dude, fuck off. We saw their campfires from Osric's Hill. They'll reach the wall before the next full moon. Surprise you didn't ride them. Leave us cowering behind the wall, hoping for the storm to pass. We can't defend yeah. her. She's defended her for thousands of years. Dude. And in all those centuries, we have never sealed the tunnel. Have you ever seen... We are going to lose. Do you agree with him? No. What? Oh my god, damn it. Builder, we'll need a hundred barrels of pitch. Dude, we're all gonna die. My lord. Dude, Ron looks nice. You have new clothes. Yeah. I sent for you days ago. I've been a bit busy. Doing what? <laughs> my lonesome bachelor days are over. Rich people shit. <laughs> I'm to wed Lollis Stokeworth. Dude, Braun switched up. She does. Unless she happens to perish before her father, Cut. then Lollis gets the castle. <laughs> Braun. It's what? Off the older sister. Horses and snap their pretty necks all the time. Oh. You and my sister deserve each other. Yep. <laughs> if you want me to kill the mountain for you, it better be a damn big castle. I'm a bit short on yeah. costs at the moment, but I can offer you gold in gratitude. I have gold. What can I buy with gratitude? You might be surprised. Dude, I low key do not want Braun to take this. I really, I kind of don't want, I really don't want to. But one misstep and I'm dead. Yeah. Why should I risk it? You shouldn't. With no conscience and no heart, that's what I liked about you in the first place. And you got some gold, you know? Well, we had some good days together. Yes, we did. Dude, that's, that's tough. Okay, I'm not mad that Ron didn't do it because, like, Ron, he would be a fool to take that. You know? I have to kill the mountain myself. Good luck. I hope to hear them sing it one day. <laughs> it does kind of hurt to see Ron not take it just because, you know, because of Tyrion. But 
I don't blame him. I don't blame him. You know, Braun actually has a lot going for him now, so he doesn't want to give all that up to risk dying for Tyrion. And Tyrion, what he could offer him, it's may, if, could. It's not even guaranteed, so I don't blame him. Take off your clothes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I thank God every day for bringing you to us. Mm -hmm. It's done us to you. It kills her inside, dude. You can tell. When we set sail, your daughter must be with us. Okay. Lord needs her. The Lord needs the daughter. All right. Are you here to see our queen? Oh, She's in a good mood. This is awkward. Oh, no. No. Jorah knows what happened. He, kn he knows immediately. <laughs> Probably hurts him so much. <laughs> Dario Naharis killed his captains and dumped their heads at your feet when he grew tired of their commands. How could you ever have faith in a man like that? I could never yeah. have faith in a man. That's why I've sent him and the second sons to retake Yunkai. Okay. You have. They can live in my new world or they can die in their old one. Okay, okay, okay. So Khaleesi's learned. Can't just m murder everyone immediately, because not all of them are bad. Most of them, but not all. So she's gonna give them a choice now. Okay, I like it. I like it. She learned. It's character development. She's le she learns from her mistakes, and yeah, she doesn't actually trust Dario. Never really did. So she's gonna send his ass off to Young Kai. You need to burn away that horrible bit there. Otherwise, it's oh gonna get God. infected and fester. Dude, he got. He got sliced pretty good. I know you don't like fire, but if you don't do it right... No fire. It'll only take a second. Sorry. He's, he's gonna... No try. fire! I thought I stole one of his toys. I didn't steal it. I was just playing with it. Just playing with his toys? He burned his fucking face? But the worst thing was that it was my brother who did it. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? It's the last person who should ever do it. They're bonding, they're growing their relation, getting to know each other on a way more personal level. I like it. They're getting more attached to each other. Can I get you anything else? Mm -hmm. No, this will do nicely, thank you. Kidney pie is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, it's oh, it's hot pocket. No, hot pie, hot pie. Okay, I know where they are now. You a knight? No. Oh, she's like, leave me alone. A girl, pie. tall, yeah. red hair, very pretty. Her name is Sansa Stark, but she... It's a guy. Them lot from Winterhell. Winterhell. No, I ain't seen anyone like that. Oh, wow. uh, there was all traitors. Yeah. Don't need no traitors in here. I pledged my life to their mother, Captain Stark. Sure I can't get you a bit more kidney pie? <laughs> okay, so he's not going to say anything. But it's not like even if he did, like, dude, Arya's so far gone now. She's not with the Brotherhood of Banners anymore. I think, I think that's what they were called. So it's like, even if he did tell them where Arya was, it's like, it's not like it's going to, it's not going to help them anyway. Like, or you, I mean, he could have at least said like, oh yeah, Arya's alive at least. So they know, but yeah. People kill for money. I don't think we should be telling people we're searching for Lady Sansa. Yeah, probably shouldn't. Pod makes a really good point. Never met no Sansa Stark. But I know her sister. Oh, okay, so he's gonna tell him. No one's seen Arya Stark since her father was beheaded. She's presumed dead. Nope. Known by the name Ari. So what happened to her? Well, the quick version. <laughs> they were gonna sell Arya to her mother at Riverrun. Along with another prisoner. Big ugly fella. Yeah. You should like the last one I gave a bit. This one turned out better. Aww. Aww. <laughs> that shit's not gonna make it. If they do find Arya, that shit's gonna be gone. Why the Eerie? Her aunt. Lysa Arryn. Oh. Captain Stark's sister. Okay, well they already figured it out then. That's for the hounds taking her, so... Okay. Lord Tyrion made sure I knew which house married which, and who hated who. Exactly. Tyrion, top pod, right. 
Hey. Come to sway me against you, I think she may have even believed it herself. Mm -hmm. But the biggest disappointment, you. <laughs> Thanks. And she pinched your little cock so hard I thought she might pull it off until your brother made her stop. God. Everyone says he will die soon. I hope they are right. God, Cersei has been fucking hay on Ty Tyrion since day one. With gets what she wants. And what about what I want? Justice. That's, that's right. For my sister and her children. Yes. If you want justice, you've come to the wrong place. I disagree. Ooh, okay. It's getting spicy. So Oberyn's about to help out Tyrion. I will begin with Sir Gregor Clegane, who killed my sister's children and then raped her with their blood still on his hands before killing her too. He's gonna trial by combat the fucking mountain. That's why he came in here. Oh my god. I will be your champion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Dude, I mean, he has a perfect motive to do it. You know, when Bronn sa said, no, I'm not going to do this, I did think about Oberyn, but I didn't say anything because I kind of thought, no, it's unrealistic. You know? Just because I was like, well, he'll probably get waxed. But then again, it's like, I mean, and it makes sense too because he has the most motivation ever. Like, I just thought about it as like, well, he has no reason to do it for Tyrion, but he has a reason to do it for himself. I'm building my home, Winterfell. <laughs> yes, you certainly are. When will you go back? Oh. My family doesn't live there anymore, and someone burned it down. Yeah. Awkward. It's ruining I them. didn't ruin it! You're being stupid! I didn't ruin it! <laughs> oh my god, this kid's having a tantrum. Oh! Oh, oh. Robin, I'm sorry, I... Bro, she pro he, he probably just reminded her of Joffrey, and she was like, fuck this, I'm not having this bullshit. His mother should have. Yeah, yeah, A long yes. time ago. Yes. Why did you really kill Joffrey? Tell me why. I loved your mother more than you could ever know. Given the opportunity, what do we do to those who've hurt the ones we love? Okay. Lord Baelish. Call me Peter. No, don't get... Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> no. 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 Fuck. You wanted to see and the moon doors open. Come Dude. here, Sansa. No, do not push her out. No. I swear to God, I swear to fucking God. You find the head sitting on its own. Every hair in place. Blue eyes staring at nothing. Blue eyes. I I'm so sorry, Aunt Lysa. I never should have hit Robin. I know it. I promise no, it won't happen. Coy with me, you little whore. You kissed him. You kissed Peter. You didn't. You don't understand. I saw you, Peter and me. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Lysa. God damn it. Let her go. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> Imagine. Let her go, Lysa. <laughs> Lysa, don't do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank God. My sweet, <laughs> silly wife. Yeah, I do feel kind of bad for Lysa because, like, she she's in a lot of pain, emotionally. I have only loved one woman. Your sister. <laughs> Your sister. Your sister. Oh, he actually said it. <laughs> oh my god, why is Baelish a fucking savage? Oh my god. Okay, I didn't think he'd fucking push her right there. Dude, Baelish is a goddamn savage. Oh my god. Oh, dude, he's becoming my favorite character. Like, he's up there. He, he's really up there. With one of, like, he is top three now. Top three, easy.
Okay. Oh my god. All right. So that was a fucking episode. Oh my god. Okay. Let's talk about that ending really quick. So Baelish killed Joffrey because of what he did to Catelyn. Not he didn't do anything to Catelyn, but it's because you know he saw Joffrey kill Ned and how much that hurt Catelyn and how much just he fucking terrorized Catelyn's family <laughs> with Sansa and Ned. You know, so he's like, you know what? I'm gonna do this from out of my love for Catelyn, right? So okay, that was his motive. So Baelish is driven by love, and like, and then, and then at the end, right there, okay, dude, he's just off the ice, like, like that. You know, oh my god, fucking savage. And like, you know, he never actually loved Lysa. He just married her for like leverage. I don't even think they got married. Yeah, and they, yeah, they never had their marriage, but he just was romantically involved with her or whatever for the leverage and everything because he's just he's a chess player you know he's playing the game of thrones oh my fucking god and so now he's probably gonna try and play this off as like oh she she just fucking fell out or whatever you know because no one else was there to wit witness it besides sansa and sansa is definitely not saying shit because she's like well i just witnessed baelish fucking kill her so it's like he'll kill me like that if he has to you know so and like i doubt like sansa like okay sansa's just weirded out by him kind of because he's kind of like he's so he was so in love with catelyn and he couldn't get her you know he he just is automatically in love with her daughter now because it's the closest thing to catelyn and i don't know like it definitely made sansa kind of uncomfortable by kissing her so I don't know. Sansa's probably just gonna go along with it just so she can live. Like, dude, Sansa can't catch a fucking break, bro. I feel so bad for her. Like, she had to live with Joffrey. I mean, and then she had to be fucking just terrorized. No, she was she was actually terrorized by Joffrey, and then she just had to be treated like shit by Lysa. But now she's like, she's fucking dead. So, what's the Hound gonna do with Arya when he pulls up to the Vale and like, oh, she's fucking dead? You know, like, then what? Yeah. Okay, and then, so, with Tyrion, though, Oberyn, Oberyn's gonna fight for him because, you know, Oberyn has the most motivation ever to fight the mountain because of what he did to his sister, Elia. Because of what he did to Elia. So, okay, that actually makes sense. He came through. Okay, I, I, I kind of knew. I kind of had a feeling that, okay, Tyrion doesn't die. Tyrion's not gonna die. He's gonna get out of this somehow. It's just, how does it happen, you know? I figured Braun, but then Braun was like, no, bro, I'm up right now. I am up in life, okay? I can't, I can't, you know? So I don't blame Braun for doing it either, because like, like I said, he's up, you know? He has to get out while he can while he's up. You know, he married that girl, Lawless, I think her name was, something like that. But now, and then Braun's gonna kill her older sister to be a lord of a castle somewhere, so, to be a lord of a castle, so. All right, Ron, as long as you don't die, see you later, bro. So, okay, can't can't really blame Braun too much. So, Oberyn's going to fight the Mountain now, and, okay, I don't see Oberyn dying, and the Mountain just got introduced, so maybe, maybe the Mountain gets waxed. I don't know, I can't, eh, okay, like I said, though, okay, like I said earlier in the video, I knew the Mountain was played by Thor Braun, Braun? bro okay whatever i knew who the mountain was played by because i watch his youtube channel because he's like a power lifter and like i'll watch that time to time and i w okay and i knew he was in the show i heard okay i heard about the actor thor a long ass time ago and i always heard oh he plays the mountain in game of thrones and that's like the only thing i knew about game of thrones prior to watching it and so i was like expecting him to show up like so i was expecting him to show up eventually and every time they mentioned the mountain, I was just thinking of him. And I was like, well, they haven't shown us him yet because I know it's played by Thor. But then but then also, I think the mountain was in season one, actually. And my he might have been recasted to Thor. And so that's why in season one, when I think the joust, remember in season one, the joust. OK, I it, might, it was Laura's or Lancel. Yeah, I got them mixed up. I know I got them mixed up a couple episodes ago. And you guys gave me some, you guys kind of gave me some shit for that. Like, how could you mix them up? And it's like, dude, they, they, they look exactly alike. Like, they could literally be brothers, okay? Okay. I'm pretty sure, though, it was Loras. 
pretty sure it was Loras, but whatever. Anyway, so the Mountain jousted one of the one of the two, and I'm pretty sure that was the Mountain in the joust. If I remember that right, I'm pretty sure it was. And that's why I was a little confused when I first watched that because I was like, well, that's not Thor playing him. So I'm assuming he probably got recasted. But it's cool to finally see him now, you know, and like, I don't think he would be such like a household name as the Ma like, well, the mountain is an important character in Game of Thrones, but he was only mentioned by name up until like this point, besides the point I just mentioned in season one, if that was him. But I think you know what I mean. So that makes me think, OK, he's around for a little bit, at least to be this well known. So it kind of just makes me think he's around for a little bit longer, but maybe Oberyn just waxes him. I don't know. Or maybe it's a really competitive fight and Oberyn just outsmarts him and is just too slick and too fast, you know, and just slices him up and then gets him, you know, it's really about speed versus power here. So, and I, I got Oberyn. If Oberyn's just overall a better fighter, he's probably going to win. But if the skill level is matched, then the mountain's going to win. So... I don't know. I think Oberyn's going to win that just because I don't think Tyrion dies. That's a little bit of my prediction on that. And then Daenerys sent more patrol back to Yunkai to kind of watch the masters and just be like, hey, you guys need to chill. And then she sent, I, I'm spacing on his name, even if I knew it, would not know how to pronounce it. But the dude who she had his father killed because he was a master, an old other master at Yunkai, she sent that guy and she's gonna make sure oh, she so basically this time she's just gonna warn the masters there be like hey look i'm you guys need to chill you guys need to stop the choice is yours if you don't you're gonna die and so that's just to kind of like potentially spare anyone who is actually a good fucking person you know like that dude's father because she learned from her mistake last time she often way too quick without knowing the his side of the story and so okay she's learning from her mistakes so love to see it Big B and Pod are trying are looking for Sansa, right? Right? Okay. And Hot Pocket, no not Hot Pie, Hot Pie, I mean. He it's funny they ran into him. He told him, hey look, I know where Arya's going. Oh well, he basically said last time I spoke to Arya, she was going the river run with the hound and to see her family, and we, we all know how that turned out. And then, so, but then Big B and Pod basically piece together, well, okay, well, we know what happened at River Run, and so she's probably going to see her aunt, right? To the Vale, which happens to be where Sansa is. So, I'm assuming the Hound and Arya are gonna go to the Vale now to see her aunt, because they think Arya's there, but then they're actually gonna find Sansa, unless Baelish and Sansa leave, which they probably will before they get there. So... Okay, and yeah, it just so happens to be where the Hound and Arya is going too, because the Hound wants to give Arya up for ransom to the, her aunt, but her aunt just got fucking off. So, alright, okay, we'll just see what happens in the next episode, so comment down below what you thought about this episode, and if you liked the video, like the video, and thanks for watching.